Hello, it's me, Philip. Today, I'm working on a Revitive foot. What is it? It's a Revitive circulation booster. This is for a family member. She asked me to have a look at it. She snapped the end off the power supply. So this is a the new one that I've put on for her. But it still didn't didn't come on despite getting the five volts from the power supply. Then she told me she had tried a different power supply and this thing only takes five volts. So the new power supply possibly got 12 volts in it. So I think she's fried something inside. So I'm gonna open it up and see what she's blown up. Right, well I've already had this open and I know there is four screws underneath these feet. Right, so there's a small power board here which we'll take out because it'll be easier. So there's the power supply jack on the left and this one here is for adding the, the pads, the TENS unit things. And there's a three connectors which are these three. Now I've got me 5 volts on the back of the DC jack, so that's working. The power comes to this red connector here, which runs down this one to here on the board. So I'll have to take this board out. Right, so there you go. That's all it is. All contained nice and neatly on one board. So I'll have to find out which one of these is 5 volts. Hang on. That goes in there. Go in like that. There you go. So you've got five volts on this side, which is here, and it runs up to these two inductors, and then it looks like it goes to a diode. There's a couple of diodes. I'll have to put this underneath the scope and we'll have a look. So I'm assuming my 5 volts comes up to here. Now, immediately, I'll just come into focus here. And that looks like a blown up diode. There you go, that diode. I'm trying to get a good picture for you. That diode's cracked open. There's a fuse there, we'll try the fuse. Fuse is okay, <clears throat> but that diode has seen better days. If I check diode, diode on my multimeter, I get straight through zero zero zero. And on the other side. I get straight through. I wouldn't expect that to go straight through. That is 0.22. The other way is that's OL. I've got two inductors here. Which are these two. Try them. They both work. Fuse is working. Now 
Now that capacitor is short. So could it be the diode? Can it be? Because the diode doesn't go to ground, does it? There's definitely a big bulge on that diode, so the diode's gone and possibly this capacitor. So I'll take this diode off. I'll see if I can find a replacement for this diode. SMEG 5 amp. So I've got a blown, what looks like a blown diode and a shorted cap. But before I order replacements, I'm just going to take the capacitor off. I'm not convinced the capacitor's shorted. I don't want to order a new diode, a new capacitor, and then find out that there's a, a chip that you cannot replace is, is shortened on the board. Right, that's the capacitor off. <clears throat> we'll check for a short on the board. So it still looks like I've got a short on the board if I'm reading that correctly. That capacitor seems okay. Nanofarads, let's have a look. 105. So that capacitor is actually okay, so I'm glad I didn't order a new one. So there is a short on this board. I think I'll go ahead and take that. I don't want to take the diode off. I think I'll put 5 volts into the board and see if anything's heating up. That capacitor looks okay, but there's still a short in the board somewhere. So I'll do a 5 volt. No, I won't. I'll put some voltage injection into the board and see if anything heats up. I've put the capacitor back on and I've got the original power supply board here so we'll plug that in and I'm going to give it 1 volt and 500 milliamps drawing 414 milliamps straight away I've got some IPA, I don't think I'll see anything not at 414 so I think I'll have to turn this up and I'll just feel it to see if I can feel anything hot I'm going to turn it up to 750 milliamps. 400, and it's still only taking 414 milliamps. Now at one and a half volts, it's gone up to 745 milliamps. I'm hoping it's not this chip. There's something warm around here. I don't know if it's the diode. That diode, that's obviously, that's heating up. I'm going to take it up to one amp. Now it's taking a full amp at 1.8 volts. And see that diode's obviously burning up. But I don't know if a diode, would a diode, if a diode blows, it wouldn't short, would it? If I take the diode off and, I loot and I, the short circuit goes, I will know for sure. But my understanding is diodes don't go to ground anyways, so if they go faulty, they don't short circuit. Like I say, we'll take it off and we'll see what happens. So with the diode off, We'll test this capacitor again. So that does look like the short's gone. But I'm still not convinced. Has the diode, removing the diode, took away part of the circuit where there could be another short circuit piece on? Right, so I've plugged this back in. I'm still on two volts and one amp. I'm going to switch it back on. Now, because I've removed this diode, it's not taking anything. So should I have 5 volts on one side of that diode? So that's ground. If I go on voltage side, there's me 1.7 volts. Right, there's me 1.7 volts. So I think the problem is that 
That diode does seem to be going to ground. That's ground. These are ground. These capacitors. So the diode does actually go to ground. Which is a new one to me. That's interesting. I'll have to find out what type of diode that is and order some new ones from AliExpress and get that swapped over. That might just... That little faulty diode might just have saved the rest of the circuit. This is the, the diode. It's a straight short. And it does indeed go to ground. It's a protection diode. A TVS. I've ordered some replacement ones from AliExpress. But there's no indication of what they are. So I'm hoping I've ordered the right ones. And I've sent the right ones. There's only one way to find out. So we're going to pop this on there. And we'll see if it fixes the issue. That's it. So that's the control board. There's a little power board here. I'm not sure if I need everything else plugged in to get this to come on but I'll try it from the power supply and we'll see how many we'll give it 5 volts and we'll see how many amps it draws ok so we've got 5 volts at 1 amp and we'll see if this lights up switch it on and it's drawing 5 volts but only 0.01 of an amp which is a good sign because it's not shorted. So, does it need to be switched on? There's two switches here. No. Let's have a look at the front. This is the... This is the front of the unit and there's a power switch at the bottom. Which must be this one. It's on, and I've got a, I've got a green light and a display, and it's now drawing. It's still only drawing 0.06 of an amp. That looks like it's working to me. That's excellent. I'm really pleased. One little diode. So the diode, as far as I'm aware, this TVS diode goes to ground, and this one is five volts. So anything over 5 volts, it shuttles off straight to ground. So if you put a power supply in, say a, a 12 volt power supply, it's supposed to shuttle the extra voltage down to ground. But this one's done its job and it's saved the, the rest of the circuit. I'm over the moon. Because although I've only replaced a diode and it seems to be working, I've learned something new about diodes, a different type of diode. So we'll power this off, we'll put it back together, and we'll see if it works properly. Right, well that's back together. I haven't put the screws in, but we'll power it on. And we've got a 30, which we had before. I don't know how to... Yeah, I can I can tell you. Ooh, I can definitely I can feel the shocks. You can feel the shocks pulsing into your into your hands there. So that's definitely working. I'm not gonna put me take my socks and shoes off and put my feet on because my feet are crusty. They're awful. I've got goblin feet. So you don't wanna see my feet at all, but that is definitely making my fingers go all tingly. I'm over the moon with that. My, uh, I fixed this for my auntie. So I think it cost us from AliExpress £2.70 from AliExpress. And I got 50, 50 diodes. But obviously it's well worth the, well worth the £2.70. It should be over the moon. Okay, so if you like watching me fix stuff while I try to fix stuff, because I've actually fixed stuff, uh, please give us a like and a subscribe. 
and I will see you in the next one. I'm going to put this back together properly. It's got a few screws to go in. And I will send her a message and tell her I fixed it for her.